Hi guys, it's Judy. I'm here with another layout share. I have two layouts to share for you. Originally I was just going to do one layout and then um, I wanted to use these two pictures but then I didn't know how to put it together. I don't know. I guess I had a different layout in mind for each one so I just ended up doing one on two different layouts for it. Um, so to start um, for the background paper on this, this is like a book print or newspaper print and that I got from the DCWV pack. It's the one, I don't know the name of it, I have it in the basement, but it's um, um, it's the one with the Polaroids, all the Polaroids, Polaroids that you can cut out and stuff, so it was in that pack. And then for the, the paper, I got it from Kaiser Craft, this collection Rewind, and that was just for the circle dots, the orange ones. And um, then for the thickers, I used the Eric font in a nice yellow. And then I used the Mini Market October Afternoon in craft and black for the the smaller words, the and of. And then for this tag that I made, um, I used this cute stamp from yournextstamp.com and um, what's it called? Geek But Unique. And it is such a cute stamp, I thought. <laughs> so I ended up using now this is one stamp, the book and the the boy. And then the rest are separate sentiments. So I ended up <coughs> excuse me, using the bookworms rule and the geek but unique. And I colored that in with just, I think my big markets and then I just used colored pencils and colored that tag in. Um and then also, oh, I wanted to show you this yellow piece of um, honeycomb. That was what the cuddle bug looks like, the cuddle bug honeycomb um, embossing folder. I love it so far. This is the first time I used it. I just got it in the mail this past week. Um, and this also came with this border with mini honeycombs. And then the great thing about it is, here's a sample. One side, when you emboss it, you can either have the honeycomb side or on the other side, it looks like the chicken wire side. So you, I don't know if you can tell the texture, but there you go. And on the layout itself, I used my heart distress um, tool from We Are Memory Keepers. And that it just has sandpaper on the back, and I distressed the paper, which was um, coordination, so it has like a white core. So when I sanded the boss part, you can see how it's a, two different colors. I thought that was a great effect, and I also have examples of other ways. I use the folder. I kind of inked up the folder, and this is what it looks like <clears throat> if you ink up on one side on the honey raised honeycomb side and then this is if you ink up on the other side and that's how it looks it's green on craft and then this is how it looks it's kinda messy I mean when you ink the embossing folders I kinda was rushing it but it kinda smeared a little but it has that I guess distressed look <laughs> um, but this is what the mini one looks like and I I distress this with the sander and then this is without doing any distressing and I think it came out pretty nice so that's that one and then my second layout here is called Mr. Potato Head and background paper is um, color box in black textured cardstock. I got it at Walmart for like five bucks. Um, the thickers I used are fabric thickers and it's called paperback 
and it's like yellow with um, a red pattern on it. And then I use the um, sticky keys from October afternoon for the for um, over there for my part. And then the paper I used also Kaiser Craft. But this one's a six and a half paper pad. It's called Technolog Technologic. And um, I like the six and a half pad because that's a four by six photo. And when I use the six and a half um, paper, I'm able to mat the photo without having to trim the photo, um, which is great. So also I use the same paper and I cut out circles with it. Um, one and a half punch, and I have this an Ali Edwards stamp called Kids Are Cool, and I just did the Sweet Boy and Great. And also, in the Kaiser Craft pads, they come at the back, they have all these die cuts and borders and stuff, and I used the border for that, and I used, um, a tag there. Oops, sorry, out of frame. Um, the uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the a date. I'm gonna just do the date. I have to look that up. And then that's another one of the pre-made tags I did. I made with my Ellie Edward stamps. Love this photo, and just my journaling. And that's it. And also, I wanted to show you. I also made a tag the other day. And this, I used the Glimmer Mist. They actually had like a three pack at um, Hobby Lobby for like $14.99. And I used a 40% coupon. I've never seen the Glimmer Mist at um, Hobby Lobby. And so I thought it turned out great. I've never done this type of stuff before, so I just used one of those tags from the Office Depot or. Office Max. And then what I did was I used this stamp I got at Hobby Lobby that was on clearance. I showed in my other haul, my previous haul video. And I this was what I had in mind. I wanted to stamp it. And what I did was I heat embossed. I stamped it with the Versa mark. And then I put um, embossing powder, the clear um, detailed embossing powder. And then I heated it and then I sprayed the three different colors of um, Glimmer Mist on it and was it a three pack or a four pack? I forget but I thought it was a good price anyway and that's what I did and then they tell you to put a paper towel on top and then I used a brayer to kinda soak up the excess I guess and let it dry in it I thought it came out nice so that, oh, the orange actually matches. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I did. And I also wanted to show you another folder, the other folder that I had. Um, how much time? More, eight minutes. Okay. So this one was the other one, the Chevron one. It's called Charles. And it's another embossing folder that I showed in a previous haul as well. And both of them I got from the bargainpack.com and this one I know is um, $5.99 but this is the one that's smaller it's actually smaller than the honeycomb so this is like the if I don't know if you can see the standard size and then the other one and I did examples of this one so this was just the regular embossing I did it on like a teal card stock so this is the I guess de-emboss side? I don't know what you call it. And then this is the emboss side. And then you can see it in white here. And then I, I did the same thing with the ink. So I put the ink on one side of the embossing folder. And this turned out really nice. I like how this turned out better than the honeycomb one. So maybe it's just the colors, but I put it on one side and then it came out really nice. And then I also did it on the coordinations cardstock too. And where it had the core, core, I don't know if this was core white or just core coordinating, but 
and then I embossed it. So this one's embossed, em I'm in, not embossed, sanded down, and then this one's not. So I don't know if you can tell the difference. So one has like shows up with some white specks and that's how it looks and I really like them so that's my review of those products um, well thanks for watching and thank you for all your the new subscribers um, um, alright until next time have a good week bye